Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. My first stop this morning is to where we actually have something going on. We've got uh, some rain and snow up here in the parts of Washington State on radar and also rain, snow kind of moving through BC. Now up in BC at Whistler, that is going to be snow above six to 7,000 feet of elevation. And you can see it coming down right there. That's at 6,100. Rain at lower elevations. It's like some snow right there at about 6,100 and definitely snow up there at 7,000. So at least we've got some action. It's not incredibly heavy, and I'm not expecting a lot of accumulation in Whistler, but at least we're seeing something. All right, here's the lay of the land. This is water vapor satellite imagery. So oranges and reds are going to be your drier air loft. Your moisture is going to be in your whites and your blues. Let me mark the storm system. There it is. That's the one that's producing that precipitation this morning. The pattern hasn't changed. It continues. Here's your jet stream forecast. Continues to bring everything and escort it into parts of BC, clipping the extreme Pacific Northwest. Uh, but those are the areas that are going to continue to be favored for probably the next five to seven days. Then there are some ripples out here in the atmosphere. These will start to ride in on the flow. So that's going to be an interesting change. All my bullet points, they haven't really changed except for one of them. Between the next five and seven days, storm track favors BC with high pressure for the Intermountain West. Then a couple of ripples will start to move in on the flow. And I'll show you what those are going to do here in just a second. Here's your time height forecast, Breckenridge, Colorado, humidity in the atmosphere for the next roughly 72 to 80 hours. And it's mainly dry. The yellows represent the drier air. Um, some moisture right there, some humidity on Wednesday afternoon over the mountains of Colorado, maybe a rain or snow shower, but that's it. That's a pretty dry forecast. So that's half of the equation. The other half is going to be the warmth. This is Jackson, Wyoming, 10 to 15 day high temperature forecast. I showed you Yellowstone Lake, I showed you South Lake Tahoe. All are following a very similar pattern. Your red line is going to be your average or your normal high for Jackson. Every single day is above that. Now, by the end of the period, temperatures start to cool down. That's the effect of those ripples. So it could be a little bit cooler by the time we get to that 10 to 15 day period and potentially some light precipitation, rain, snow for the northern tier. Um, very late in the period as well. Let me go back. I want to show you the smoke forecast. Um, so here's the smoke forecast. This is a problem right now because of this big dome of high pressure across the west. Um, there's no precipitation to put these fires out, um, and, and there's not a lot of cold fronts either to help kind of scour the smoke out. So that's what we're seeing right now. That's your smoke forecast for the next 48 hours. You've got smoke coming out of Utah into Colorado, smoke coming out of Wyoming into Colorado, smoke coming out of Idaho, Oregon, and Montana. And there's a lot of smoke. I'm just going to let this play out through 48 hours so you can see it again. It all just drops down through the heartland, all the way down to Texas and the Gulf Coast, in fact. All right, let me take you to the jet stream forecast. So by close of business today, there it is. Everything's running up into the Pacific Northwest. Here comes the first ripple. Look at that little dip rolling into California by 10, 11, 10, 12. Then that fades. So then we have to watch for the second one. Here it comes. 10, 15, 10, 16, 10, 17. That rolls through. And again, a little bit cooler and maybe a little bit of precipitation. So, you know, kind of speaking about that precipitation, speaking of it, here is your forecast radar satellite. By 5.30 this afternoon, a little bit of cloud cover over the mountains of Utah and Colorado. Here's tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, uh, rolling into Thursday. First ripple begins to approach California by the time we get into probably 1013. Here it comes and then it fades. Now we have to wait on the second one. It's a little bit bigger. Here's 1014, 1015, here it comes, and 1016. A little bit of precip for the Intermountain and especially the northern tier. And look at the snow up in BC by 1017. Um, all that blue would represent probably a lower rain snow line, so we'll have to see if that plays out, but at least there's something on the horizon here. All right, snow forecast is pretty benign. There's a little bit for the northern, possibly for the northern tier in Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. I mean, that's very light, probably 10, 16, 10, 17. Most of this is going to stay up in the parts of BC, um, and you can see it as I zoom in. Uh, again, a lot of this is all up in the BC, a little bit for the Northern Plains. I mean, maybe by very late in the period, um, but the chances, I mean, the chances are just low. It's been so warm and dry lately. We'd have to have a pretty big pattern change for anything more than what you see here. Um, so really it all comes down to this. It's warm and it's dry 
for most of the lower 48 with some small changes in the extended forecast. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here this morning. Always appreciate it and take care.